I don't think I have ever done two Antarctica videos in one day, but something has been brought to my attention, and I have spent the last couple hours trying to figure out what this is, and I haven't been able to. Um, there is a channel on YouTube called Conspiracy Depot, just like it sounds. And they put out a video shortly after mine um, that says Antarctic Mystery Base Discovered on Google Earth. Pretty straightforward. Um, they only have about 3,900 subscribers. There's only about 105, 145 views on this. It came to my attention, just so everybody gets credit where credit is due. Um, Clint Steele, right here, said, uh, look what just posted sent me the link to this. It's in the comment section of my most recent Antarctic video. Now, honest to God, this is the damn strangest thing I've ever seen. It's out here in the middle of Antarctica. Real quick, for those who want the coordinates, 75 degrees, 046.98 south latitude, longitude, 0 degrees, 452 Point seven one east, and I'll see if I can scroll this up and zoom this in there for you. Just so everyone, if you want to pause the video, can see that. Okay, that should be enough time for anyone who wanted to pause and get that so you can join us where we are. Now, the weirdest thing about this is that it appears to me that in his video, he's using the web-based Google Earth application. And the first thing I thought was this was some kind of an array. And so there's a thing down there called a heat telescope. Um, but that's at Ridge A, and the reason I started here. Where he's at is way over here to the left. And Ridge A is out here, and if you zoom in on Ridge A... I'm assuming this pink line they have out here is to mark that array. So it's not that. Because that's the first thing that comes up. Now, I did some basic measurements here. Um, this line of whatever these things are. Here, I'll get that scored up. There we go. Protruding through the snow is... 1,900 meters long, just shy of 2,000 meters. There's 22 of them. Now, I haven't measured out each distance, but they're virtually identical, and it just looks like something is out there, and it's uh, sticking up out of the snow, and it's causing, of course, you know, leeward action behind it with the wind. Also, he had noticed out here that there is this faint line of these different markers. And this darker area here, and then what looks like, I don't know, he describes it as a base entry, you know, to my mind, you know, that's as good an explanation as any. I don't know what it is. Now, what he didn't do, which I wish he would have, because I feel like I'm taking credit for this, which I'm trying to not, is Google Earth Pro has a whole different story. And this is where things got strange as hell for me. Now, what you can do with Google Earth Pro is that you can look at historical data. And up here, you see all these little dots um, represent a year. We did this earlier. Now, this is that same region. Now, I had to get some very strange angles, weird 3D angles to even get these to pop up. There was a picture from 99, a picture from 2013, and then a picture from 2016. And that was it until I started mucking with these angles. Now, this is that coordinate right here. And all you see is this little tiny protrusion out of the snow. Now, I'm going to go forward. And so you can see that whatever this was, was here as far back as... There's 99. 98. It's still faintly there. I don't want to lose that. I did it. Gosh darn it. Let's see if I can get it back. There it is. 98. For some reason, you can only get a certain uh, angle 
to have those, I don't know if you can see it up here, these little white lines to show up. So I'm going to go forward. This is the area you're looking at right here. And I'm going to go forward in time. 99, 2000, 2001. Now, you see how it's starting to protrude over here in 2001? 2002, 2003. Now, I'm not zooming. This is just different years, exactly the same place. Up to 7, 2008, 2009. Sorry about my phone. It's starting to become more pronounced in 2009. 10, 11. Wait till you see what happens in 2013. You're going to lose your mind. 2012. Now watch this. 2013. Now what we're looking here at is this line that he described more than likely is a runway. And as we see here, we have access. They've kept the runway far away from whatever this is. And when you zoom in here, they clearly have an operations center of some kind. And he had mentioned some red light or red dye. Well, it's all over down here. And I know my shades are red. And this is about as disturbing a shade of red I've, as I've seen. Now I just zoomed in past the, uh, the historical stuff. But this is about as creepy a place as I have ever seen in my life. Now, as you can see, it looks like it's not... Uh, the picture from before was 2016. And this distance here... Now, remember, that was about 2,000 meters. We're going to go ahead and grab a ruler here. This is only about 400 meters. So this is only covering about a third of this. Now, you could say this is some type of construction, but boy, it sure looks like... I don't think this could possibly be construction. This is excavation. Because we saw that whatever this was was here a decade ago. And clearly coming up through the ice. We didn't see any evidence of the runway or the equipment in past years that would have pointed to this being constructed then. Or in the early stages. Whatever happened here, there was a melt and something came through the ice and they sent a team out to excavate it. And there is evidence all over the place for this. And it looks like somebody has found something out here at this point in time to give them a better idea, but to put things in perspective, what 2,000 meters would be here, or 1,900 meters, we'll grab our ruler again. And it would take it almost out to here. Just to put these things side by side. I'll zoom back out and uh, show you what we're talking about here. Now, also, part of me thinks that this here, because what we're looking at here, this is the web-based Google Earth. And here's Google Earth Pro. See how there's no darkness? Th this right here, now that I look at it, is actually this up here and has nothing to do with this line because that would be about the right distance of what we're looking at I mean maybe I'm looking at this wrong I've been looking at it for a few hours I could be getting cross-eyed but this is like I said what we're looking at here this is web-based Google Earth versus Google Earth Pro and this is a 2013 shot We'll go forward in time. This is a 2016 shot that shows you. Oh, well, this proves it. Okay. And I guess I have my line drawn in a wrong direction that it goes out here now. So we'll back up to uh, 
2013. So apparently those come out here. But I'm absolutely at a loss. Completely at a loss as to what this could be. I mean, clearly out here, this is a runway. And, you know, they have an access road to the runway, and then they have an ops area. And you can see that there's clearly some kind of, I would have to assume, snowmobile um, tracks out over and around this thing. Whatever it is. I don't see any digging, per se, equipment. But over here, this is this is flipping disturbing right here. Because I've seen the, the dyes that they put in fuel to keep it from freezing. And that might be this, but boy, that's a weird shade for it. Because they, they do out here. And coolant, um, or in this case, I guess antifreeze would be a better way to describe it. And then you have some UV light and blue light under here, whatever they're blocking out. This is just weird. So this must be camp. This must be where whatever is out here is out here. I don't know what, uh, if this is a sanitary facility out here. And another one here. But I'm stumped. And so this is going to be a good one um, to try to figure out. But yeah, um, Conspiracy Depot, he's the one that uh, picked this up. And then Clint Steele was the one that brought it to me. So we will leave it there. But 2013, um, this is Google Earth Pro. And this is what this picture becomes in 2016. Here. And this is web-based Google Earth showing the exact same thing. So thank you to them. Very much appreciate it. Once again, Clint Steele and Conspiracy Depot. He does a lot more of the detailed measurements on all this. So if you want to watch his video, uh, I'm actually going to rewatch it myself here. So have a good one, guys. Like, share, subscribe.